following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to our man Jim in Palm Harbor. Hey, what's going on, brother? Hey, how you guys doing today? Doing great, man. How you been? Oh, great. I really appreciate you and Tommy. You, you do great job, great work, and I really appreciate it. I watch you every day. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here, man. Let's go to uh, Sylvia in Tampa. Hey, Sylvia, how you doing? Hey, Tom. Good morning. Thank you so much for taking my call. I want to tell you thank you so much for the advice you gave me on dust yesterday. I exited when you told me, and I made a, I made a healthy profit for, That's awesome. for a very short period. So thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night and a great week, folks. Love is kind and just. When you're in love, a smile's always on your face. You feel good about yourself, and because you're happy, you're kind. Love is also just. When you make a mistake, you pay only once for that mistake. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 139, NASDAQ off 5, SPs down 10, gold contract uh, up $3.40, trading at 12.8190. Silver up 2 cents, $16.50 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 76 cents, 65 dollars 81 cents. When we get into the light sweet crude, when you see the uh, type of price range that had out here today, folks, pretty amazing. Notes and bo notes and bonds. Ten-year note up one tick, 119.20. Thirty-year bond flat, 143.21. King dollar, king dollar uh, trading up 76 ticks, 94.853. The euro is up seven. Ticks at 116.17. Yen is at 110.52. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's go take a look at it. Let's get into the futures first. We'll take a look at the futures. What you have out here, USU8. There we go. So, S&P minis, they traded to a low out here today of uh, 27.61. You're at 2774, bottom line, you rejected lower price. Guess what, folks? These highs are game once again, 2796. You have uh, summer trading. Mondays are always slow, depending whether you're a bull or a bear. Uh, bottom line is that uh, if you are a bull, you love how this is set up. If you're a bear, guess what? We're going to go hit the highs again. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. Uh, the Q's out here went down to a price point of 174 today. You're at 176.47. Uh, now, the difference, the differential in the Q's and the SPIs is that anything over the 175.21, which is the high that was generated March 13th, that's saying higher price. The SPIs, the bottom line, I, I only expect the SPIs will more than likely, they, they, they look like they can't get any traction. This just happens to be that, uh, guess what, you, you did reject the low, you had light volume, so the lows of the highs that were generated last Wednesday can get hit. That's 277 to 278. Right now you're 276.28. Gold contract, what do we have with gold contract? Bottom line, gold broke a B point, broke it with volume on Friday, took it apart with volume on Friday, like in a huge way. Uh, we did uh, 526,000 contracts on Friday. So you get a price projection of 1267. Now, this is the cool thing here. We actually had so much volume, it's actually going to be hard to drive that lower than the 1277 right now on a short term basis. If we end up staying below this level, let's say below the 1290 level for two or three more weeks, yeah, it'll be real easy to drive it down to that uh, 1267 price projection. Uh, if you get back inside that level, and we have some juice inside that level, different ball game. The reason being is that we, when we came down, uh, 
You can see the amount of volumes there. It probably took out uh, just about uh, every bid and offer that was out there. So more than likely, what you're going to see, you're going to see a total clean out there. Silver, different animals. You know, silver has always been acting. Uh, we've had huge divergence inside the silver market. That bottom line, it came out on Friday and uh, still divergent, meaning silver came down hard. Uh, you talk about hard. We went from uh, 1727 to 1646, 75 cents, right? That being said, uh, guess what? Silver did not break a swing low. And when you don't break a swing low, silver came down with uh, 174,000 contracts. Well, we got lower today, which is bullish. We rejected the price. It's like, okay, silver's going to try to drag gold up, upside once again. The Actually, gold and silver equities for the type of beaten that the physical market has taken, uh, those things are hanging on really well. Not just, just, not just nice. They they are basically showing strength. The GDX right now is up three cents, trading 22.26. Uh, uh, we go take a look at the XAU. XAU out here is at uh, 82.31. Uh, gold bugs index is trading at a price point of 177.83. Uh, uh, neither the GDX, XAU, or HUI have broken any uh, lower swing areas. King Dollar, let's go take a look at King Dollar. So King Dollar, huge move last Thursday, had price, had volume, price spread, everything, okay? Uh, that being said, you know, bottom line is that uh, good old King Dollar, uh, that baby, we did, uh, let's see, 31,000 contracts. You took out your swing high out here of the 94, 975. We'll see how long it can stay over it. Um, when you do put a continuous contract up, what you're going to see, King Dollar, which had been trying to get up to, had been trying to get up into uh, this high that was uh, generated out here in October of 2017. It tested it. Um, and there's, so the bullish part of this would be there's really nothing in between here that good old King Dollar couldn't go to 97 or 98. That being said, because of the fact that you actually had the volume spike so dramatically and you're underneath it, it's like, okay, man, does this thing want to go test their friends from October 2017? They did the test, and then it's a give up. Notes and bonds. And actually, let's go to the TLT first, because notes and bonds, bottom line, continue to want higher price. The TLT almost looks like it's a small ABC structure on the way up. The TLT right now is trading at $120.30. Bottom line is that this baby just won't back off. Uh, you know, you just, you're just down eight cents today, and it almost looks like you know, we, had, we had gone up last Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, had gone up with an expansion of volume. You back down with light volume today. We have a high volume swing laying out from the 29th of May at uh, 122.52. That baby looks to me like it wants to get tested. So you've got a lot of different dynamics uh, inside the marketplace right now. What we will have. Mondays, Fridays inside the summer, folks, you get slow volume. What we did have on option expiration, monster volume inside the indices, monster volume on the ETF structures. That's telling me, once again, this market broader, wants a lower price. The February 6th um, high volume lows inside the S&P haven't got tested. They want to get tested. We'll see where this baby goes. You, we go up tomorrow. We have light volume up tomorrow. That may be all she wrote. See ya. Don't want to be ya. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow Industrials down 138. NASDAQ down 3. S&P's off 10. Come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wham!
Oh, go get them, folks. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, down 140. Nasdaq are four. S&P's down 10. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the first hour. Don't forget, folks, Steve's got an outstanding show right here. Every trading day, 12 to 1, 1 to 12 to 1 Eastern. My God. <laughs> Gotta love it. 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, the way you get Mastering Probability, you come over to our website at TFNN. You go to newsletters, you go to trading newsletters, 30-day money-back guarantee. Check it out. Steve is the number one market timer, according to Timer's Digest in the S&P 500. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, timing is everything. So, yes, 1 to 2 o'clock. Yeah. And, uh, and, and I start off with timing is everything because, you know, if, you're, if you happen to be a penguin, you might want to jump off of a piece of ice into a nice piece cold, of, nice, uh, some nice cold water. But if you've got the orca right there, Oof. bad timing. So you just can't jump in. And if I equate that to the markets, what I want folks to understand, and I've said this before, but it's easy for me to kind of just encapsulate everything, is that when markets make tops, they do so in every major currency. And if we take a look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin topped in 2017. It did so at the exact same time in dollars. That's the left panel. Next to that is in euros. Next to that is in yen. And then next to that is in uh, Great British Pounds. If we take a look at the crash of 87, we had the um, Dow was at highs at the exact same time in all major currencies, the euro, the dollar, obviously, the um, yen, and the uh, Great British Pound. Now, the Dow has gone on to make new all-time highs in euros and pounds. What that says to me is that the uh, January high that we've seen in the Dow is not the high. But this is the bigger picture. So I just want people to kind of put all this together here. And, and the reason is because it's, the, it's this global flow of capital. And the global flow of capital is really all about confidence. It's why I like to be able to follow the money. And if you take a look at, uh, example, Warren Buffett, he once said, confidence, confidence is key. You're not going to put your money, you're not going to leave your money with me 
unless you're confident, I'm going to give it back to you. And so when I take a look at that quote, really, when we take a look at the global flow of currency, it's all about where is the confidence. Nothing moves faster than the speed of trust, although we, we do know that the speed of distrust sometimes can move even faster than the speed of trust. And what I want traders to do is to just simply just simply understand that it's more than just us when we're taking a look at whatever screens we are looking at in US dollars whatever instruments we're trading and it's incumbent upon us to understand what our traders across the different ponds doing and is the market breaking out so in the case of Bitcoin I would say that the loss of confidence and trust is there regardless of a small little bounce that it's had today now traders in all major currencies absolutely have confidence still in the Russell 2000. Russell okay. 2000 in U.S. dollars made a new all-time high today. In uh, euros, panel number two, made a new all-time high today. In yen, made a new all-time high today. And in Great British Pound, made a new all-time high. So traders around the world continue to put money into the Russell 2000. It's breaking out on everybody's screen. Traders in all major currencies have confidence in the NASDAQ 100. Now, today, it did not go on to make new all-time highs. We can see the new all-time high at 72.91 in uh, the NASDAQ 100 in dollars. And we can see that we've at, we're at new all-time highs a few days ago inside the other major currencies as well. But what you and I can also do, Tom, is we can take a look at the global flow of cash. So that was a longer term picture. We can also take a look at what's going on with the global flow of cash in the short term. And whereas the NASDAQ still has more room to run to the upside, my price target, initial price target inside the NASDAQ is the 88, 8900 level. If we take a look at what's going on on a shorter term basis, we just go ahead and take the chart here for the NQ and we uh, move down to a 30 minute time frame. What we can see is currently going on is that the NQ in dollars, the NQ in euros, the NQ in pounds, the NQ in yen is now starting to make lower highs so it's an indication of a possible at least a short-term change in trend absolutely short-term change in trend going on right now as far as the global flow of cash inside of the nq in all major currencies the nqs is oh, i didn't mean to have the chart up there two times row. the russell 2000 now slightly different story we took a look at it on a daily chart out here this is now a 30 minute uh, time frame uh, chart and We've got a divergence with the Russell 2000 um, making higher highs today inside uh, inside the market. So we've got a divergence with regard to the Russell 2000 and the NQ. Um, and when I take a look at the NQ, Tom, this five-hour time frame chart, 300-minute chart, has provided us with the best intermediate term short term time frame tops and bottoms all of the arrows that i have here are patterns that i've taught mastering probability subscribers and i talk about it during the radio show and it is where price moves higher does with less energy or price moves lower does with less energy there's an entire five-step process out here and uh last week on thursday and friday we received the next short term could be intermediate term when I say intermediate term could last days could last a week but we have the signal that the NQ is trying to put in a top now what I'm looking for and I believe the key and there was some new information that was revealed to me about a half an hour ago and it was revealed because there was a brand new five-hour TAS market profile and these market profiles, if you take a look at instance number one or instance number two on my screen, labeled number one and number two, you will see that when price breaks below the bottom of a profile, closes below the bottom of profile, and then never closes above the top, you have that sustained move to the downside. Right now in the black line out here, the black kind of um, line that's moving uh, uh, is the top of a, a profile box. And so right now, 72.94.75, if the NQ doesn't close above that, and 
If the NQ were to close below 7241, that's a brand new five hour time frame profile out here. Then what I'm looking for is a move down into 7109. So on a short term basis, when I take a look at what the market is doing in dollars, in euros, in yen, in Great British Pound, the NQ is giving us a signal that the market is ready to just do a nice retracement here. The ES Mini is actually doing the same thing out here. The next level for the ES Mini to move below is, um, well, the 2760 level is what I'm looking at. Right now, that was a test app today, acted as support, but any move below that would be another signal to us that the uh, retracement is uh, underway. So folks can come over, as you say, to the homepage of uh, TFNN.com. They can uh, test drive Mastering Probability for the next uh, 30 days. It comes with, as well, some uh, educational workshops that I have done, and folks can learn this pattern out here. So um, timing is everything. Timing is everything. It's a beautiful thing. And listen, folks, just come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go to newsletters, trading newsletters. You're going to see Mastering Probability right there, 30-day money-back guarantee. Check it out. And, of course, every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time, call up, ask them every, everything and anything. It's a you beautiful thing. It. Cooking, brother. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. We look forward to the show, Steve. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow Industrials are down, uh, let's see, 128. NASDAQ just went positive. S&Ps are down 8.5. We'll come right back. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously develops accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
Welcome back, folks. Let's go over to that NASDAQ. So uh, NASDAQ is just pretty amazing, actually. Uh, composite, composite uh, traded down to a price point today of uh, 76.76. Bottom line, um, you're at 77.46. Uh, basically, it comes up 80 bucks. Um, going to be, let's see, the closing low in the composite is uh, 77.61. We're only uh, 30, 30 points away from it. Some of the higher volume equities out of it. And inside that NDX, so it, when we take a look at the NDX, now watch this. This is pretty wild. So Tesla's the biggest mover inside there today. Tesla is up $11.83, and that looks like just a big shot squeeze to me, but not just a big shot squeeze. It is a shot squeeze. One out of every three shares got to be bought back, and they got this thing railing, baby. Um, you know, when you're talking, we go back three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, it says 273. Uh, you hit two, uh, you hit 373 today, so 100 bucks, 100 bucks in three weeks. And guess what? Uh, these swing points up here, I believe they just took them out. Yeah, this thing's going to go hit us high, man. I mean, you got 389 game, and we'll see what ends up happening. The, 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 you know, last week, monster volume, man. We came in with 17 million shares. You were going into a swing point with 5 million, 7.9 million, and 8.9 million. And, um, then we already have today is that uh, you have volume. Uh, you, get a, you get a Monday in the summer and you get volume ins inside it. That says, guess what? That baby's going to go after the highs. Um, inside the NDX, uh, Workday is up uh, three three percent. You get uh, Autodesk up two point four percent, and um, Align Technology is up two point one. Taken away from it, uh, Biotechs. Uh, you get uh, Biogen down five point seven percent or seventeen dollars. You have uh, Comcast is down 3.6%. Uh, Intel is off 3.4%. If we go take a look at uh, Biogen, let's go see what's happening in Biogen. So Biogen's down 17 bucks. It has some volume behind the move. Let's see what they have to be saying. Um, okay, so that's, just, that's saying that uh, they're getting battered by competition as the competition... Uh, is moving into some of their markets, so we'll see, we'll see how that, that shakes out. Some of the other higher volume equities out here inside the marketplace. We have uh, GE down 13 cents. You get Marbell off 89. Microsoft is up 63. Uh, GameStop, we'll go back to that. That has something happening with it. GameStop's up $1.29, uh, trading at $15.27. So that's quite a move for a $15 stock. Now, this stock has been a mess. It's, it's hard to really comprehend that it's stayed alive all these years, but bottom line, it has. The 2007 high was 63 bucks. The year 2000, uh, that, you know, then it trades down to $15. Does a monster counter trend move again in 2017, gets to 57 again, and then just dies on the vine to 15. And it looks like a private company may be trying to take it out. So GameStop uh, rose the most in more than three years. Um, as the video game retailer has drawn takeover interest from private equity firms. The chain attracted interest from such firms as uh, Sagamore Partners, uh, Reuters reported on Monday. Yeah, so they, they're going to need someone to basically uh, get into that, and they'll just push it back out again as a public um, market. Oracle, Oracle's up uh, 25 cents. You get Verizon down 70. Uh, Apple's up 11. Uh, Google, folks, uh, Google's going for its highs. Uh, you know, this took a while for to Google to get going. Bottom line is that, uh, you know, it's got going. You know, the, the highs up here, 1186. Right now, you're at 1173. Uh, also, for Monday, you get volume inside this move. You know, so Google's not done yet. Uh, now, you're coming into, this has been a high-end consolidation. The top's been 1186. The bottom's been 1021. Google was one of the first equities. What's going to be intriguing about Google as to how this sets up, Google is one of the first equities that did test its February 9th swing low. Google had come off the high in January, went from 1186 down to 992 in 10 trading days, uh, did a nice counter trend bounce all the way back up to 1177, and then took an additional four more weeks to come down and test out that high volume low. Now, it did reject it, and it did it with 11 million shares versus 15.9. So now the bottom line is that now it's going to come into that high, and the high in Google does have 
some decent volume. So it, it looks at this particular, well, we'll find out whether it's going to take it out with volume or not. Right now, the way it's trading, it's telling me that uh, the volume's not going to be enough. We have to get up there on price first. The price should be pretty easy. All it is another $13 from where we are. So I expect it's going to go test it, particularly about how our markets are trading right now. Because what our markets have done, they've got into those lows, they rejected them. Uh, we get another, what, 35 minutes, 25 minutes coming into the close. And if you didn't look at the market, you'd think that bottom line is that uh, you had a sideways market all day uh, to something basically even up. Because the Dow uh, right now got down to a low of uh, 24825 and it's up $150 from that low. Um, IWM, and this is where, you know, bottom line, the IWM is much stronger than the S&P. It would make sense because the TAF issue is going to put hammering on, on the S&Ps because they're large international companies. Um, small caps, basically all about uh, the United States more than, more than uh, international. Uh, you get the uh, IWM right now. What's going to be intriguing here is to see, can it get another two and a half million into the close? And if it does, guess what? You get an ABC structure on the way up. And the IWM does put volume in on the close. So your A point on this is 160. Your B up there is 167, almost 168. Let's say it's eight bucks. That would put you at 174 approximately. Um, and if that's what we get coming into the close, then uh, guess what? This, uh, this, well, the IWM would be saying it wants higher price. 877-927-6648. We take a look at the, the futures market out here. Uh, we have inside the oh, oil. Let's go do oil. The, the oil market out here, you talk about a movement today, folks. The low is 63.59. The high is 65.98. So you had a two and a half dollar move. And this baby also just totally rejected lower price. We get down into this uh, 63.59 today. Uh, you've done it with 201,000 contracts, which is light contract volume. Rejected price. That's saying that uh, we game into 67.42. What that is, that's the low of the downdraft that was created out here on the 25th of May. Ex, uh, Exxon Mobil, we go take a look at Exxon. Exxon wants lower price. So this is going to be intriguing. Exxon's up nine, nine cents, not enough juice. Did go to a low, but can't hold price. Chevron, we go take a look at Chevron. Chevron out here. Same type of setup, actually. Yeah, it's pretty cool, actually. Chevron, you know, Friday came down to 13 million, up today at 5.2. Doesn't look to me like either one of those are going to basically get up into their highs of uh, January. So that's saying that's saying quite a bit about uh, as to where the actual uh, oil market is going to go. So you get a nice bounce out here today, but that is saying oil also wants lower price. We are going to be, uh, you get the OPEC meeting at the end of this week. Some of the other futures uh, out here, we had uh, heating oil today was up 2%. You get lean hogs up 1.5. Crude was up 1.1. Um, they're showing gold up two tenths of 1%. Uh, taking it south, wheat. Wheat's down 2.3. You get uh, cotton down 2. You get uh, corn down 1.4. Uh, beans are flat. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials are down 120. NASDAQ is flat. S&Ps are down 8.5. Come right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com.
I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance, David White's daily market letter, gives you trade recommendations based on David's proprietary power law vector indicator that put the odds of success overwhelmingly in your favor. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price for each stock and option trade. David combines his years of trading experience along with his background in technology and computing to offer his subscribers his take on the markets on a daily basis. Every trading day by 9.30, David publishes his morning issue of the Path of Least Resistance along with updates sent out throughout the week whenever there is new, actionable trading information. All new subscribers receive a 30-day, no-questions-asked money-back guarantee. To sign up for David White's daily trading newsletter right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go take a look at some of the volumes out here. So uh, in the indices uh, we, right now, you get 465 uh, coming in the NYSE. That'll end up doing about uh, probably 650. Uh, so you're going to have an anemic day. Even 700, 650, 700, with a rejection of lower price. Uh, we go into the composite, NASDAQ composite, composites at 1.6. That'll going to end up doing about two. So, um, bottom line is that you are going to have that rejection of price. The real kick is going to be, of course, uh, what is the bounce going to be on? Uh, I suspect we're going to get this bounce, and that bounce would be on light volume. Uh, let's go, uh, Apple. Let's go to Apple. We know that uh, good old Google, Google's got some juice underneath it. Uh, it's going to be intriguing to see can Apple make it uh, up into the uh, higher levels once again. You know, you came down uh, Friday, huge volumes, 61 million. We're only down 13 million today. Um, and, and you do have a rejection. What was intriguing about the Apple uh, over the weekend, folks, is that you had the aspect, uh, what we had had last week was you had a lot of the suppliers saying that uh, they weren't ordering um, as many uh, parts as that they normally had been ordering. That being said, Apple comes out over the weekend saying, guess what? They're not going to be using these $1,000 phones. They're going to try to be, uh, they still have the $1,000 phone, but they are going back to the older technology on the screens so they can sell cheaper phones. And so it's intriguing as to, okay, uh, does that have to do um, with those pot structures also, which it very well could. You know, maybe uh, uh, the, the push against a $1,000 phone is out there, evidently. So we'll see how that shakes out and exactly uh, how many more phones they can sell once they bring those prices down a little. Facebook, bottom line is that uh, that thing just shakes everything off. Uh, Facebook, uh, all-time highs out here today. You're over the uh, 195.32 area, or 198.32, and you know we'll see uh, how much higher that, that little baby wants to go. Goldman Sachs, if we go over to the banking area, uh, Goldman Sachs still can't catch catch any uh, bid out here. We're down 68 cents. I do expect you know you're going to get a little pop uh, up, you know maybe to like 2.33, uh, but Goldman Sachs, when we take a look at this on a longer term basis, uh, looks to me like it basically has, has rung the bell. It's taken. You know, long period of time. It's 250 is the number. Um, you know, we, we failed at the 250. That it took months for that to happen. Uh, it had been over that. The 250 was uh, the highs of 2007. 
We first took that out in February of 2017, stayed over there almost a full year, came back inside, and we came back inside in an expansion of price. That's saying it wants lower price. And, you know, when you take a look at the rest of that banking sector, um, the rest of the banking sector is there also. Bank of America can't get out of its way. That's at $29.49. J.P. Morgan, we take a look at uh, J.P. Morgan, also up 19 cents, sideways move. And, and the, the risk in J.P. Morgan is that your high volume low from that uh, February 9th hasn't got tested yet. They've come close. You know, the high volume low that we're talking about in J.P. Morgan is 103, 898. Um, we came down on the 29th to 104.95, had big volume, came down again last Friday with big volume, now you're getting the bounce with light volume. Uh, this has set up a very large channel from the beginning of the year. Right now, we're six months into this. Um, these, these larger channels coming across the top, which is a, is a big number, you know, so. The uh, OPEC meeting at the end of the month, uh, end of this week, I think, yeah, we're gonna get some action inside that that oil market, uh, X, if we go to the XLE, we pull up the XLE, uh, that little baby just doesn't look to me like it's going to get any traction. Came down hard on Friday, 16 million. Um, you know, you did almost reject lower price today. Not, not quite. This thing looks like it's actually building cars uh, to try to get into this uh, 7360 area one more time. If we do go into the XLF, go back to the financials for a second, you'll see those financials, same type of setup. Uh, Friday came down with 63 million. You get a bounce today with 36. Now, the difference in the XLF is that you did not go to a lower low. So this is where you're down on volume, you're up on light volume. That's setting up another leg down in the marketplace. And uh, this consolidation also has been a long period of time. The chip stocks, let's go to uh, NVDA. Let's take, let's take a look at NVIDIA. That's still hanging at highs out here. Pretty amazing, actually. Bottom line, 265 is game. We're at 269 to get tested. That, no doubt, that can get tested again. Uh, LAM Research, LRCX. Now, LAM, as well as AMAT, was showing some big weakness. Continues to be weak. LAM's down 357. Uh, that is going after the high volume low of uh, 167 to 156. That's February 9th. AMAT, we go take a look at AMAT. What you have with AMAT, also lower. Uh, AMAT right now. Okay, this is under one high volume low at 48.53. And yeah, it's going to go after the second one of uh, 45.13. Right now you're 48.40. And this is, look at that, man, this is pretty intense, actually. AMAT's been laying up here for quite some time. So this has been in a consolidation September of 2007. That is no doubt a long period of time. What you do have, you have the high volume lows. Those high volume lows do have volume, you know, so they, they want to get tested. Let's go to Keenan in uh, Dallas, Texas. Keenan, what's going on, brother? How you doing, man? Doing great, man. Yourself? I'm fine. Good. I, I, CLF I talked to you about last week did exactly what you said it would do. It went to 9-9. Went to it was well, I was, I was, was, I was watching like it for you the next day, man. I brought it up right away. I did, I had a, you know what happens? I, I, you get the gist of it. I, I did that ASAP. I looked at it, and I forgot. I, I knew the, the swing I was looking at was that 908. When did we hit nine? We hit nine dollars, right? I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was just beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I got another one for you. I want to ask you about. Okay. I'm looking at QD this afternoon. I've never traded it before, but it looks to me like it's just nudging up to just below breaking out for a new leg of an ABC. What do you think? It goes okay, from the 29th so of uh, May up to about June 5th, and then it goes sideways, and it looks like it's nudging up today on good volume. What do you think? QD. QD. Okay, so this is uh, online credit products, uh, Beijing company. The low is 7 64, the highs 35. Oh, this must have got smoked. Interesting. Let's take a look. Well, look, look at the break. At, look at the volume of the last two days. Yep. Okay. And, and look what it's doing today. And look at it on like a 10 minute or a three minute at about 
two fifteen this afternoon, one fifteen this afternoon. It popped up on Prime like you won't believe. Oh yeah, so yeah, that watch the, what he's talking about is that yeah, it just yeah, it went from nine fifty to nine ninety six and watch this, I'll get that trade. That's gonna be That puppy popped. Yep. What, what time is it again? Three o'clock, right? Uh, yeah, right about on yeah. my chart. It, uh, it gives me Eastern, and I'm in Central. It says fourteen fifteen. What is that? Um, that's that's yeah. one fifteen, right? So here it started. Here, yeah. No, I can see. I I brought up all the the uh, bulk trades, uh, block trades, and uh, you can. Here, let me just do this again. Let me just see that. So. Okay, so fourteen. Oh, I hear the music. I'll hold it. Yeah, up. stay right there, Austin. Fourteen ten. That's the number that we're going to be looking for, 1410. There she is, right in there. It starts. Stay right there, folks. Uh, Keener and I are going to be coming right back. We want to hear from you. 877-927-6648. Come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. We're talking with Keener from Dallas. We're talking about uh, QD. Uh, low for the year is a 760. The high is 3564. Uh, so I, I definitely see what you're looking at. And yeah, it, it's a small ABC up. It's going to be confirmed today. Your A point on this is 764. Your B is uh, 8984. So it's approximately 220. Your C is 884. So that gives you like 11 bucks. Um, your swing point up here uh, is 1226. Now watch this. This is pretty cool. 
because this has a high volume high at 1780. And then if I put this on a monthly, this is a new IPO. If I put this on a monthly, what you're going to see, I'll put it on the weekly because you can see it better on a weekly, is that the last time downward volume was 1203. So what normally happens is that if you get something that's coming off the bottom, even if it's a dead cat bounce, you know, it normally can get back up to that level, meaning the last time it's down with volume, which is 1203. So, yeah, I would say that you get some action and go for that uh, small ABC up. And what you'd want to do, Keener, is put the order in the cell because the way that this has traded, you can see it's, it is unusual when a stock can go up 40 cents in 10 minutes for a $10 stock. But that's good. If you have the price projection in there and you get, a, you know, a goose is up tomorrow or the next day, well, guess what? You get action, man. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you put the order in yourself so it on open, like just before the open, go ahead and put your order in so that it executes an or open? Do you wait for it to open? No. Okay, no. I want you, you, you'd put the order in at a price. So your, your price projection on this, I believe it's... Let me just get that again. I'll get close to it. It's $2.10, I believe we said. So that's $11, right? So yeah, you, your swing point is the, the bottom of the swing is 11.82, the highs, you know. So I'd put it in like a 10.91 or something. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then just leave it. You just leave it there. And you're just hoping to get a pop and bang, they take you out. I'm hoping so too, man. Okay, brother. Thank have, you. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Bye -bye. Stay right there, folks. We'll be coming back with the uh, next hour of trading. Dow Industrials down 90, NASDAQ up to S&P's down five and a half. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Oh, look who oh, we have. It's a beautiful day. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We are taken by storm. Taking it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good man. Yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday, Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. Yeah. But holy commo I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Seek to know the truth. Be impeccable with your word. Whenever you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement and it becomes part of your belief system. The only thing that can break that agreement is to make a new one based on truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. Remember that. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrial closed down 103. NASDAQ flat, S&P's down five and a half. Bottom line, folks, what you had out here, you got to lower lows on Friday, you rejected lower price, you had lighter volume, 
Bottom line, we're going to see another bounce. It's pretty amazing. There's no doubt. On the NYSE, we did $871 million. We did $2.3 billion on Friday. Friday was option expiration. Doesn't matter, though. Guess what? You went to a low. You had volume behind the low. Went to a lower low today. Rejected the lower price. Bottom line, the SPY is trading at two seventy six fifty. Nine, I suspect we're going to go after this 277 to 279 area once again. NDX 100, still strong. NDX 100 out here um, basically said, see, I don't want to be uh, uh, down at this 174.94 price point. You're trading 176.50. Anything over the 175.21 is that saying higher prices can come at you. And we'll see whether the NDX can actually take out the high, which which is the 177.89. Because what's intriguing is this. Inside the NDX, if you want to see the strength versus the weakness out here, there's two equities that can basically get that thing over it and over it pretty quickly. Uh, the first one's going to be Tesla. Tesla is, is a shot squeeze. Uh, it's up $100 in three weeks. You're up $12.66 today. There's still a 30% shot position. You're at $3.70. Uh, bottom line, has volume behind the move out here today. And this looks to me like it's going to go right after... Uh, your all-time highs. Your all-time high in Tesla is 389. Uh, Google. Google caught a big bid out here today. Uh, Google is not at its highs right now. It looks like it wants to get there. Up 21 bucks. You're at 1173. Um, you Google had volume come in the equity even with a small volume day. Your high in Google is 1186. Guess what? You're at uh, 1173. Um, I suspect that wants to make a run for it, too. So um, Facebook's at an all-time high. I believe it went to another all-time high today. Uh, Facebook is at 198.31. And, yeah, all-time high. One Hit 199.58 today. So I suspect those good old NDX 100 um, still wants higher price. Small caps. Uh, small caps also, uh, the IWM. IWM closed at its high, all-time high, up 79 cents. Uh, 168. In fact, is this, let's see, 19 point, uh, no, it's not an ABC up. Uh, it took out the highs, didn't have the volume on the way up, but bottom line, you can see what the, the, the gist is here. The gist is uh, that small caps do want higher price. The NDX wants higher price, and we'll see where it shakes out. Gold, gold needs some help. Gold um, took out a swing point on Friday. ABC structure on the way down. You're 1280, 1267 is the number, and we'll see um, if, in fact, it wants to get down there, or we get a rejection of lower price at the 1277 area. We'd have to get under 1277 first. You need lighter volume. You go topside from that. If we rejected the lower price went topside, then you'd have some action, uh, up action. Silver, uh, this is where the divergence still is. Silver had come down hard on Friday, never broke a swing point, though. What we did do in silver today is that we got to a lower low, Rejected lower price. Bottom line, silver has a chance once again to go topside. Um, and the um, intraday out here, folks, uh, you know, there's going to be a, you get a lot of different dynamics that are happening in the marketplace simultaneously. We have summer trading, of course, so that means every Monday and Friday you get light volume. Market has a chance to get going Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. We get the OPEC meeting at the end of the month. Uh, last week was a big week, meaning uh, news. You know, other than that, bottom line, now what you're talking about is that are these valuations worth it up at this point? That's what the story's about. Uh, so you had uh, Paul Tudor Jones says, asset prices are not sustainable long term. Let me just read you a couple quotes from me come across the, uh, this afternoon. So market prices are highly uh, dubious billionaire hedge fund manager. Paul Tudor Jones said in an interview with Goldman Sachs, Lloyd Blankfein on Yahoo Finance. These are going to be his quotes. Clearly, interest rate policy is crazy. He said, you look at the prices of stocks, real estate, anything you know in the long run, we're going to have to ha uh, do a mean revert. We're going to have to uh, get back to a sustainable fiscal policy, and that means the prices of assets probably have to go down in the very long run. The next recession really... Uh, frightening because we won't have any uh, stabilizers. He said monetary policy will exhaust real quickly while fiscal stimulus won't be available during the next downturn. Um, uh, note, Jones started an exchange-traded fund with Goldman Sachs that invests in U.S. companies engaging 
and just a business behavior that began trading last week. Bottom line is that, uh, you know, we'll see where this whole thing uh, does shake out. And, of course, just always remember something when I'm not sure whether he's short or long right now. But the bottom line is that when, you know, they're out there talking, walking, and squawking, they could be talking, walking, and squawking their own book. Um, you know, that being said, uh, this has been a quite an extraordinary run. There's no doubt about that. Some of the higher volume stocks out here in this marketplace today, you had Ma Bell down 96 cents. We had uh, Intel off 189. Uh, Comcast is down 130. You had a uh, rent -a center well, That's a big number. What's going on? Going, they're going private. They're doing something. rent -a center is up 265, $14.68. So let's go and look at that one for a second. So the low for the year is 722. The high uh, today, 14.78. And what are they saying? So, well, there you go. There, it's, that's a takeover. Um, so, rent the center is a takeover at $15 a share. And let's see what kind of revenue they do. So, they did $3.2 billion in 2014. Uh, this year, they expect to do $2.6 billion. So, they've been uh, decreasing by 5% per year. They've been... Con uh, so that, uh, that baby has been contracting. And uh, bottom line, that being said, yeah, they are, let's see, no, this year they're going to make money, make 55 cents a share. Yeah, so some of the other higher volume stocks out here today, we had um, GameStop, GameStop, uh, $1.24. Um, that's been a dead dog uh, bounce. Apple's down 10 cents. You get Facebook, that's new all-time high, up 246. Dropbox up 240, trading 42 bucks. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523.
The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow finished down 100, NASDAQ uh, flat, S&Ps uh, down 4.5. We were just talking about Tesla. So Tesla, um, you know, they had announced last week, folks, that they're uh, cutting 9% of their workforce. Uh, the first one, uh, this is uh, in California, as in many other states, if you uh, lay off more than 50 people at one address, uh, there's certain states that you have to basically give notice to the actual state, and that's what this is. So Tesla filed notices uh, in with its home state, uh, which is California, um, that they are uh, dismissing um, so many folks from their organization. Uh, in letters to the state and local officials, Tes Tesla said it will part with uh, 400 at least 420 employees in Fremont where it has a vehicle assembly plant as well as 86 workers in Palo Alto, head, in their Palo Alto headquarters. Uh, the most common roles being cut are process technicians in Fremont and mechanical design engineers in Palo Alto. Uh, it's unclear whether these are the first of several notices Tesla is filing with the state uh, under the Worker Adjustment and Retaining Notification Act, uh, known as WAN, the California Department of uh, development department and uh, company spokesman both declined to comment uh, beyond the notices which are dated last Friday. Um, Musk had announced uh, last week that Tesla is going to let go 9% of its employees across the country, uh, company rather. He said cuts would almost entirely affect salary workers and wouldn't affect the car makers' ability to meet their production targets for the Model 3 sedan. Um, uh, California's one act applies to uh, any employee who is laying off 50 or more employees at one location. Uh, Tesla has sales and service centers across the state. Uh, so these were the, uh, the, the first two. Uh, one was in Fremont, one was in Palo Alto. Uh, bottom line is that uh, we'll see where this uh, whole thing shakes out. Uh, you can see, I can see the d design, the people in the design getting let go. Uh, you know, we'll see whether the production, uh, well, hey, he's, he's got to come up with the, the numbers. Uh, the bottom line is that he's definitely pushing the shots out of that equity because when you, when you take a look at this, it was a 30, well, was 39 million share shot out of 169 million. That's 30.84%. Um, that being said, uh, what you also have is that if you take, if we take a look at Tesla, there's very few people that could be in a winning position right now because uh, for how far we've gone up, you know, this is up uh, four weeks ago, Tesla's at 273, we hit two, 373 today. Uh, what you also have is unless you shot a Tesla at the highs uh, on the week of uh, June 30th of 2017, a year ago, that would have cost you a fortune too to carry that the whole time. Bottom line, it looks like uh, everyone, you know, except maybe those two weeks would be in a losing position. So what I expect you're probably going to see is this. Number one, you're going to hit the high. Number two, it's probably going to blow by that high in an incredible day, uh, in an incredible way. You know, it doesn't mean it gives it up totally once it blows by it, but when you get a 30% shot position, you had been going down, so they, they were basically, the shots were, in, well, actually, so take a look at it. It's amazing that they probably didn't bring some of that shot position down. This, this is just where greed goes, though, because when you look at it, you know, you're at 386. That was last year, last June. Well, you got down to 244. You know, if you, I'm sure there's plenty of people that probably shot it at there. You know, we'll see where it shakes out. What normally would happen is this. If this position wasn't so heavily shotted at this point, you'd have everyone throwing shots at these highs. At this particular point, I don't think we're going to see that shot position go up further. The reason being is that this has been such a fast move. That being said, 
if this can basically spike that high by another 20, 30, 35 dollars, then you will see those short positions uh, go back on. It's going to be intriguing, you know, putting the market together, meaning that putting the S&P together, the NDX 100, the Dow, with the correlation of how Tesla's trading, Facebook is trading, Google is trading. Let's go to Amazon, actually, and see where Amazon's at. Yeah, Amazon's at an all-time high, too. This one's higher price. Hey, we'll see what happens in the next couple of days because the market looks to me like, yeah, it's going to test the highs again. When I look at a couple of these, uh, Amazon, Facebook, Google, let's go look at Microsoft. They look like they're not going to stop. Microsoft uh, hit a lower low today, light volume, rejected it. Microsoft can hit its highs, too. So... Um, we'll see where that uh, whole uh, rotation uh, does go. Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow today. Uh, Point-wise, what you had, uh, Boeing was the culprit. You know, that put negative 21 points into the Dow. Intel 13, Disney 12, uh, Travelers 12. The strength was uh, Chevron that put power, uh, 13 positive points. Visa 7, Microsoft 5, no, no big deal. Inside the NDX 100, it was all about Tesla, I think. Yeah, Tesla was up 3.5%. That's, that's a big number, no doubt about that. Google, Google's the fourth highest one. That was uh, up 2%. Uh, Google was up $24. Tesla was up uh, $12. You had uh, Autodesk up 2.3%. Uh, that's trading up 327. And this hit an all-time uh, high out here today. Uh, yeah, that's it. The low was 99. The high was 142.48. Now look at this. Okay, so this is actually going into its highs with volume. This might be a break topside again. They have quite a business plan anyway. They, they get a, a big dollar amount for their software, subscription-based model, and let me just see how many employees they have. Well, they get 8,800 employees. Revenue, $2.1 billion. And they're really not good. That's interesting. They, they actually are contracting by 1% in America. And the Europe and the Middle East, they're contracting by 5%. Asia, they're contracting by 16%. And yet, you're at all-time highs. Where that comes down, folks, is that, guess what? <laughs> the amount, you know, they have subscriptions out there from $1,995 uh, up until, uh, well, a lot more than twenty. You know, three thousand um, bucks for software. Then that's just a, that's just a get go, a start. Yeah, this wants to go uh, basically. It hit its high today. The real question is going to be, can it take it out? It looks like it can. The reason being is that the last weekly high up here had three point six million. It did uh, nine um, eight hundred ninety eight thousand today. That's saying that uh, that thing can be game to go topside. Let's go take a look at a few of the uh, large builders. Toll House, uh, Toll, uh, Toll Brothers rather. Toll Brothers down 92 cents today, $37.78. Okay, so this has been a one-way trade for five months. Off 52 bucks, you're at 37.78. Put this on a weekly. You're back inside the lower range. So this says this can actually, 38. Yeah, this can get down to 34 bucks. Yeah, that's inside the lower range. 34 is game there. Lanar, we take a look at Lanar. Lanar was down 85 cents. This is a high-end consolidation. Lanar is stronger. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Come right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global 
global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the X. SAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. And when you do, uh, it's pretty amazing, actually. When you look across the world, uh, Asia, Europe, United States, the only thing out here uh, that uh, got into the green, folks, was that... Um, so you had the S&P... Uh, up in Canada, do go up four tenths of one percent today, uh, and then you had the uh, composite. Composite was one, up one one hundredth of a percent. Uh, if we go over to the S and P up in Canada, we take a look at that. So let's see, what we got that's up sixty nine bucks. Uh, this was uh, inside of that, yeah. So is that who's that's not Google? Who's uh? Oh, Canadian Goose. That's been on a tear, man. Canadian Goose was up nine. Percent. Look at this stock. This is the, what is this stock? Okay, so they Canadian Goose uh, operates as a holding company called, hold, through its subsidiaries, manufacture, distribute retail auto wear for men, women, children. Canadian Goose serves customers worldwide, and it must be uh, bottom line is that uh, look at that they're growing by forty. 44% they're growing in Canada, 47% they're growing in the United States. The rest of the world are growing by 27%. This company in 2015 took in 215 million. This year they plan on taking in 736 million. Yeah, this is just one rocket ship. Uh, f three months ago it's a $35 stock. Now you're an $85 stock. Let's see when this went IPO. Let's see. Issue. Oh, yeah. yeah, so this one IPO March of 2017. And look at this. Now this is this is an IPO that you not only like to had been in, even the secondary in this uh, came in that with big numbers. And normally what happens with the secondary, you see the stock get really goosed. They do a secondary, and then you're falling back. In this particular case, uh, March 
uh, of uh, 2017. It went IPO at $17 Canadian. Uh, in June, they did a secondary out there at uh, 20. Oh, this is interesting. So watch this. On June 27th, they did a secondary. They did this twice. This is pretty cool. So March 15th, they did the IPO at 12.78. The following day, they did a carry-on extra shares at $17. So they got a juice there. June, they waited three months. You did it on June 27th. They did a secondary at 20.75. They had an over allotment. Uh, oh, no, no, I see what it is. Okay, it's Canadian dollars versus U.S. dollars. Bottom line is that uh, U.S. dollars, they did an IPO at the 12.78, and then they did a secondary at 20.75, and this baby is no doubt um, on fire as, as, an, as an equity. It's pretty amazing, actually. Um, let's go back to the uh, inside the Canadian market and see what else we have out here. Okay, so you had uh, the second strongest stock, oh, Bombardier. Okay, that's, that's been having problems. Bombardier was up. Uh, you had a diamond mine that was up 6%, but the bottom line is that that's only a $2 stock. And then you had uh, an aviation stock that was up. Uh, you know, when you, when you look uh, worldwide right now, folks, markets are having a tough time uh, catching a bid. That's the bottom line. We go into the uh, GLD. We take a look at the GLD. So these, uh, let's see, so the, uh, the holdings still just came out, so they are unchanged as of the close. That's 828.76 metric tons of gold the GLD holds. If we go take a look at the GLD, what you're going to see there is that Friday we broke down with volume. Bottom line is that you got an ABC structure on the way down. You broke the B point, did it with volume. Uh, the GLD would have to get back inside 121.97. You're at 121.11. It's going to be intriguing watching this whole metal versus the equity market inside that uh, gold con inside the gold um, sector in general. Uh, Royal Gold, let's go over to Royal Gold. We take a look at Royal Gold. Uh, Royal Gold out here, guess what? Can't back it down, man. Even Friday, Royal Gold didn't back down. Royal Gold traded 93 to 91.48 Friday, closed at 92.44. You're at 92.23, and this baby is pushing highs with volume. Um, Aniko Eagle, AEM. Let's go take a look at AEM. It's a little dangerous, you know. They couldn't back it down too much, but what we did do is we backed down Friday with 2.6 million. You're up today at 680,000. You'd want to see a nice sign of strength in an eco eagle right now. That's the way that's kind of set up. Uh, Barrick, Barrick Gold. Uh, this has been a sideways move out here. Um, you went lower on Friday uh, with Barrick, had the volume behind the move. Right now you're at 1284, just had to get back inside 1281. Uh, it's intriguing. Barrick, I think a lot of these, let's see. Yeah, this is, so, so Barrick Gold introduces autonomous trucks at its Nevada mine. Uh, bottom line is that you're going to see a lot of this. Uh, let me pull this up and see if I can get this story quick for you. You're going to see a lot of this. Uh, at large industrial sites, there's no doubt, because it's much easier to, you know, the, the trucks are absolutely huge at these sites, uh, but that's going to that's gonna bring uh, the cost of um, mining uh, with having those autonomous uh, trucks uh, happening. So let's see, Autonom uh, Autonomous uh, Solutions um, has begun work to, on a project with Barrick Gold to retrofit and automate a fleet of haul trucks at the company's uh, a Toro joint venture operations in Nevada. This re represents the first major autonomous deployment uh, within the continental United States and signals the largest, uh, larger movement to adopt autonomous across the mining industry. Uh, during the initial phase of the project, uh, ASI will retrofit five uh, 930E ultra-class haul trucks to autonomous operations 
at the uh, Toro Mine, located on property adjacent to the barracks Gold Strike operations. This uh, phase will consist primarily of uh, waste haulage prior to moving into production. Uh, subsequent phrase, uh, phases will follow with potential expansion to additional trucks. Not only is this agreement with barracks significant on ongoing uh, for ASI mining, um, but enables Barrick to embark on an autonomous surface mining strategy in a pragmatic and collaborative manner with technology partners such as ASL. Bottom line, folks, what you do uh, and you're going to see is that so picture. If you Google um, Gold Strike Mine in general, it's one of the largest mines in the world. Barrick Gold is the largest mining company in the world, gold mining company in the world. Uh, what you're going to see is these, the haulers are a big deal for two different reasons. Is that all a gold mine does is go down and gets ore, takes the ore, gets it into trucks, gets it to the mill, comes back, does the same thing over and over again. They get this thing done autonomously. The, the mills themselves can work 24 hours a day. In fact, they do. The hauling... Okay, if that can work 24 hours a day too, guess what? This is going to be a mind blower. Um, it'll take, I suspect, uh, two, three, four more years to really get that baby down, but you're going to see that happen, and we'll probably see it happen pretty quickly in the mining business. Stay right Many there, of our folks. New listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live, and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Let's go into the uh, biotech. So uh, we had out here today uh, inside the uh, NDX 100, folks, is that 
Uh, Biogen was one of the leaders on the way down. Uh, you know, bottom line, that was down 5% of $15.91. Uh, and this baby came down with some good juice after holding up uh, on Friday. So if we go into the IBB, uh, the uh, NASDAQ uh, Biotech uh, Index, you know, that was basically down 83 cents today. You're trading 110.43. Uh, the low for the year is 97. The high is 119. And we bring this back. What you're going to see is that okay. So this high was established. Man, wild how time goes. So this high was established three years ago, July of 2015. July 2015, you're at 133 bucks. And if you remember, the biotechs, they just ran straight. I mean, you talk about straight run, run up. This was a, actually an, an incredible run um, because prior, you know, if we bring this back to 2013, you're at $55. 2015, you're at 133. And then what does it do? Bang, it comes down hard to 80 bucks, big time. And if we get a little bit closer in, what you're going to see is that it's had a very tough time now getting into higher price whatsoever. You know, right now, uh, the top of this range is approximately $114, $115. Uh, the bottom of the range, which still has a high volume low, uh, is at 80. You know, so, you know, we'll see. Uh, this is coming into a supply line that is a monster. Uh, when we came off the highs, this came off the highs with volume. So on a monthly basis, what we did is this. Monthly basis, you hit a high in 2015, $133, $111 million shares traded on a monthly basis. Now watch this. We come off the high the first month with $135. Next month, $222. Next month, $234. Monster numbers. You're coming, first time we came back up to that was $60 million versus the 135. Tried it again with 65 million, couldn't handle it. Uh, last month you had 59 million. Bottom line, doesn't look to me like it's gonna be able to handle it whatsoever. So that little baby has been going sideways now uh, for three years. That's a long period of time uh, when you're taking a look at sideways markets. Let's go take a look at GE. Uh, GE today, General Electric, GE trading. Uh, down again, uh, 10 cents, but guess what? We need a $13 stock. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big number. Three weeks ago, GE got a counter trend bounce going up to the $15.59 area. Now we're going right back up to the swing low again. And uh, in GE's case, this has been a one-way route down from 32 uh, three years ago. And we'll see whether it's going to basically break that 12.74. When we do put this on a much longer term basis, um, it looks like $7 is game here. Uh, well, uh, actually, 11.35 first. We haven't hit the 11.35 thus far. We went to 12.73. The 11.35 is the highs of the low of 2008. And, uh, you know, GE's been contracting for quite some time. What's going to be intriguing is watching just what type of contraction uh, it does have after it pushes off a few of these um, subsidiaries that it's closing, uh, that it's selling rather. The reason I'm saying that is that as they stand with their numbers right now, uh, 2014, they did revenue at $148 billion. 2018, they're at $121. They're claiming by 2019, they're actually going to go up $2 billion. The way that they have been selling off um, subsidiaries, I, I suspect that, that they're going to have to change that number. Right now, they're contracting by 3% in the United States. They're growing in Europe by 7%. They're growing in Asia by 3%. In the Middle East, 6.9%. Um, where they're claiming they're making their money is $34 billion in the power generation, $27 billion in aviation, $19 billion in health care, uh, $17 billion in oil and gas, and other is $24 billion. So the other, hopefully, they're selling that off. What the GE uh, did do, you know, bottom line, GE was just a huge bank. And uh, they were a bank that didn't know what they were doing and blew their brains out. That's the bottom line. Uh, what is going to be intriguing is to see uh, just uh, the, the oil business. They also bought the oil business, folks, at the highs. 
Now, what has happened with oil, uh, you know, go look at that market. What you're going to see is that, you know, oil's basically gone, not only just gone up, uh, good old oil's gone up dramatically, doesn't seem to want to give it up. There was an article in the Bloomberg this morning that uh, for the, just in one year, in one year, the amount of money, and let's go take a look at it. So a year ago, 2018 CL1, CL1. Okay, so go back a year. There she is. Okay, well, this is intense. So a year ago, it's pretty amazing. We're at $42, 42 to $43. That's where we were last June. You're at 65.80 right now. That differential uh, for oil producing companies, $210 billion extra. Can you imagine $210 billion in 12 months extra? Um, big, big numbers. Big, big numbers. Platinum. Let's go take a look at the platinum market. We haven't looked at platinum for uh, quite some time. So platinum right now, uh, the July contract's trading at $884. And this baby also needs some help. Uh, it's testing its strength from the uh, 22nd, uh, 21st of May. That being said, PL1, let me pull this up on a continuous contract. There we go, okay. So, put this on monthly. Well, a little bit of this consolidation, yep, three years. Pretty amazing, actually. Uh, you know, platinum had a high of 2300 in 2008 before it imploded down to $600, $760. Nice another counter trend bounce. You get, you get a sideways movement, you know, coming into the downdraft from uh, October of 08, but platinum needs, needs to pick up a bid. And what is amazing, there's no doubt, uh, when you take a look at this platinum contract, um, GC1 versus the gold contract, um, the amount of time that uh, one has been under the other is uh, just pretty amazing, actually. Uh, this, this relationship uh, broke apart. Um, I think, I believe we've been apart here. Let's see. So... Gold is, uh, yeah, this has been a pot. Look at this, man. This has been a pot for April of 2017. Yeah, April of 2017 has re re really come apart. And uh, guess what? That's, uh, well, it's, it's before that, too. Gold is it? No, but that's where it, that's where it really come apart. That gold has continued to stay above platinum for that long. And the real question is going to be: Is that a supply uh, supply demand equation because of the amount of electric cars? Or basically, is just is, is like a a burp in a uh, market that uh, a long term market uh, that platinum will get above the price of gold. Dow Industrials finished down 103, NASDAQ flat, S&P's down 6.5, come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. 
David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. With over $56 million in cash and over $66 million in working capital, Great Panther Silver is positioned as a company with a solid foundation and poised for growth. While completely unhedged to the price of silver, Great Panther retains 100% ownership in two producing mines in Mexico, which is the top silver producing country in the world, along with future potential production in Peru. Great Panther is highly leveraged to the price of silver, and after a great year of performance in 2016, Great Panther Silver has a strong outlook for 2017 as well. With good liquidity in trading and strong fundamentals on the balance sheet, while remaining completely unhedged to the price of gold and silver, now is a perfect time to take a closer look at this equity. If you'd like to find out more about Great Panther Silver, then go to greatpanther.com or check them out on the NYSE market, symbol GPL, or the TSX, symbol GPR. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Okay, summer trading, Mondays, Fridays, you get light volume. What do we do out here today? You get light volume uh, inside the NYSE. You did about $850 million, I believe. Yeah, 870 versus the 2.3 uh, on Friday. Uh, SPY, what we did out here, SPY, we did uh, $52 million versus the 120 I think it was one. Uh, yeah, versus the 120 on Friday. So you rejected the lower price, had a light of volume, still at the highs. Bottom line, that wants to go after the high. Uh, we had the NDX 100 also reject lower price. The small caps are, are at all-time highs, and actually they had some juice today, and they're pushing away from their highs. I was up 79 cents. The highs of last week were 167.94. Right now you're at 168.60. So that, that baby, the... It just missed actually being an ABC structure on the way up. Uh, in fact, maybe it got enough volume. Yeah, no, it just missed it. 17.5 million versus 19.8. So bottom line, you don't have an ABC structure up. If we did, that would have been a price projection of 174 uh, inside those markets. The uh, King Dollar. So let's go take a look at King Dollar. So King Dollar, this is going to be a little bit tricky here. King Dollar, folks got into its October 2017 high. Uh, that swing point was 95070 uh, on the continuous contract. Now, we hit that on Friday, uh, got over it on Friday. Uh, we'll see where it closes this week. Uh, it's real possible that uh, that's all it wanted to do, you know, because it's, it's a, that's a decent counter trend bounce. In fact, well, let's look at the type of bounce that we actually did. The type of bounce that we actually did uh, from the highs to the lows on this baby, yeah, just over a 0 0.382 retracement. So, from, and where I'm going, I'm going from January of 2017. January 17, uh, the dollar index was at 103. It was a straight line move down into this uh, 88 area. So you did a 0.382. So, you know, bottom line, 90, 96 is still game, which is uh, a 50% retracement. 
always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows, and whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Look forward to speaking right back here, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Bam! Look at them, folks. Grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report. And make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com.